Poltergeist the movie was released in 1982 and was a huge box office success. A lot of people believe that Poltergeist is actually based off of the Herman case in 1958 on Long Island. Seaford, Long Island. The Herman family starts experiencing some truly inexplicable and bizarre and frightening activity in their house. Everything was very normal until that day in February, 1958. My parents tried to keep our life as normal as possible when you have flying objects in your house. Small pieces of furniture started flying around the house, figurines, lamps, my brother's globe. Finally, my father said, enough of this. And he said, I'm calling the police. And that's why it became a police case. Mm -hmm. Perhaps maybe unlike the other cases, ours was a police case. No crime had been committed. What was happening gave no sign of being a threat to the physical well-being of the Herman family. Was this a legitimate matter for the police? The decision was yes. And so on Tuesday, February 11th, Sergeant Joseph Tozzi was assigned to full-time duty on the case. And here is Sergeant Tozzi. Joe, uh, suppose you outline for us uh, your exact procedure just as soon as you were assigned to the case. First, of course, I met with the Herman family and had a number of talks with them. I worked out the position of every member of the family at the time of every incident. Then I took a sampling of the bottles that were involved, sent them to the police laboratory for analysis. And their report? Negative. All of a sudden, you'd hear this very strange, loud noise, like a popping bottle sound. And it was, well, what is that? So you go running towards the noise. You look around for one second. You see that things are not where they were supposed to be. And then you would eventually find a bottle that was maybe 12 feet away from where it was. You went to the bottle, and all the contents inside of it were completely gone and evaporated. And the bottle was very hot to the touch.